Here we have a PC one with this simplified IP packet. The simplified packet has a destination address, a source address, and the payload is a ping request. PC one will send this simplified IP packet over to its destination, which is the PC two at the 101 address. Let us bring that back again. With just two devices on the network, it's relatively easy to see where our IP packet has to go. But what if we have more networking devices on our network? Now we bring in router one on the 1056.16.1 address on our network. As an example, we now want to ping 888, which is out here on the internet. Our packet has to be sent over to router one on its 1056.16.1 address. Router one has to send it on to the internet over to the destination address. The question now is, how did our networking device PC one know that the destination 888 had to go over to the 1056.16.1 address? Let us again simplify our diagram for this discussion. The answer to the question is that any networking device has a built-in routing table. Our networking device PC1 has a routing table. Our networking device PC2 has a routing table. The router R1 also has a routing table, but here we concentrate on the Linux routing tables. Here the routing table for PC1 has been populated. We will concentrate on the routing table on PC1 only. The routing table is populated with three routes, one, two, three. The routing algorithm will be looking in the destination column to see if there is a match for 888. The numbers 8.8.8.8 .8 are not the same as 10.56.16.0. And the numbers 8.8.8.8 .8 are also not the same as 169. .254.0.0. In this case, with no direct match, the routing, the routing algorithm will choose the 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 route. 0.0.0.0 as the destination means match any IP address. So this is also a match for 8.8.8.8, .8 as there is no other direct match in the destination column. The routing algorithm will see that the IP packet has to be sent to 1056.16.1. And that is over on our router one. And it is called the default gateway configured here on PC one. The default gateway is on router one, the 1056.16.1 address. We also see in the routing table what interface has to be used for a specific route. For the default gateway route, the IP package have to go out on ETH0. The packet will be sent out on ETH0 according to the routing table and over to 1056.16.1. Router one will then hopefully know what to do with the IP packet to get it to the right destination address. When our ping request is for 1056.16.100, the routing algorithm again will do a lookup in the destination column in our routing table. The routing algorithm will find that the 1056.16 numbers match the route in the second row. A gateway of 0000, 0, 0, 0 means there is no gateway. The IP packet has to go out on the directly attached network on ETH0. According to the routing table, the IP packet has to go out on ETH0 and directly over to 101. This is the fundamental conceptual understanding of the routing table on Linux boxes.